Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Capricorn. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. Um, this is also for March, so if it's not resonating now, that is because it is a prediction. So, on the bottom of the deck of what's coming towards you, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so Capricorn, you have a lot of people that you're going to be speaking to, getting in contact with, people that you already know and are aware of. Some are new. But you're manifesting this into your life. So let's see. We have the Queen of Swords. This is air energy. We have the Chariot card. Cancer energy. Queen of Cups. Water energy. Queen of Pentacles. This is earth energy. Your own energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords. The Moon. Cancer Pisces energy. So, like I said, you're going to have people be an air sign water or another earth like yourself I just get a conversation like they're wanting to speak to you or maybe you're speaking to them let's get more into your reading could be some travels here as well with the chariot card um, so we have the ten of wands okay so ten of wands This is a card of feeling burdened, but what I also see here, because the next card after that would have been the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Temperance card. You may say, why am I bringing this up? Well, in the background, one of the women is pregnant. So, this could also be like a child energy. Maybe you have a child or a younger person who's reaching out to you, but that's not going to apply to all of you, because not all of you have children. So let's see. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. The Fool. Page of Swords. Two of Wands. What I also see for you, Capricorn, is you're gonna come to this point in your life where you start thinking should I stay at what I currently do or what I'm currently investing my time into or do I move on into new? Looking at these cards here. And this can apply to work, projects, places, people, I'm not sure. You know, it's going to apply differently to all of you. Capricorn, choose whatever feels right to you. Like, think about it for a moment before you just jump into it going to be my advice for you. So we have number 31, Mutually Beneficial Venture. There's an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So like I said, you got people in your life. I don't know if this is friends, family, or what this is, but it's very beneficial for you to collaborate, to work together, to be in each other's lives. We have number 32, not sure how to say that name, Seashell Divination, Wisdom of the Shells. So this, I, I don't know if, you, it, it's talking about divination here. We have Inner Knowing. Yes. We have Grieving. So some of you are grieving something that you lost or you were. We have number 15 with Appreciation. So Capricorn, also in the month of March, you're going to be appreciating things a lot more in your life, things that you did not notice, people that you did not notice. Then we have number 21, the Enchanter, Dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. So, Capricorn, whatever you've been wishing for is about to come true here. You can make your dreams come true. You have that ability, because looking at this Queen of Pentacles here, you see how she's kind of like, she's kind of manifesting here. Manifesting that coin, you know, that it, you have a manifestation energy. So whatever you set your mind to, you can accomplish. All right, so Capricorn, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.